It was a race against the clock, but fortunately I finished our hoop house right before our first snow, and our cold hardy crops are thriving under protection. In my last video I showed how I framed the hoop house. Today I'll show how I covered it with plastic. But first I'll talk about how I built this door, and I'll cover a few framing changes that I made. Let's start with the door. The door follows a very simple design with 2x2s on the side and top and bottom, a 2x4 across the middle, and each corner is supported by a piece of scrap 2x4. I have two hinges and a simple gate latch. Here's a closer look at the door. Now let's take a look at the changes I made to the framing. The first change I made was to remove all four diagonal braces between the corner posts and the side walls. After installing the hoops, it occurred to me that the rebar and conduit under each hoop pipe would provide a good amount of stability to both the side walls and end walls. So I tried removing the diagonal braces between the corner posts and side walls and found it had very little impact on the stability of the hoop house. I did not remove the braces between the corner posts and the end walls. Then to stiffen the structure up a bit, I added these scrap pieces of 2x4s to each corner. This change makes it easier to harvest from the load tunnels from the outside of the hoop house when it's not covered. Next I made a few changes to improve the hoop house's ability to withstand a heavy snow. First I inserted half inch electrical conduit into the PVC ridge pipe to strengthen it up a bit. Next I added these wood blocks on the end walls so that the end walls provide support to the ridge pipe. Next, I added these 2x2 trusses that are very similar to the trusses on the end walls. They provide quite a bit of support and are attached to the PVC here, 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 and they're also attached to the side walls. So far, the structure is handling snow very well. Since last night, we've had a number of inches of wet, heavy snow. The hoop has to shed the snow quickly, resulting in little accumulation on top. And there's no indication that the snow is stressing the structure in any way. This is something I'll continue to monitor as we move into winter. With the framing complete, it was time to prepare the hoops to be covered with plastic. Before covering the hoop house in plastic, I first need to protect the plastic from sharp objects like bolt and screw heads. I also have to protect the plastic from the PVC itself, which can degrade plastic over time. To accomplish both of these goals, I'll apply white Gorilla Tape to the hoops. I covered the PVC with Gorilla Tape everywhere I expected the plastic to come into contact with it, including all of the hoops and where I plan to attach the plastic to the purlins. In the process, I also covered all of the bolt and screw heads. After covering the PVC, I went ahead and applied a second layer of tape to all bolt heads, just to be on the safe side. Next, it was time to cover the hoop house with 6 mil greenhouse plastic which I got from Greenhouse Megastore. Unfortunately, during most of this process, the conditions were not great for recording video. It was either way too dark or it was raining and windy. But I'll do my best to bring you this process nevertheless. I started by covering the end walls. Near the bottom of each end wall, I attached a 1x2 with roofing nails. The 1x2 is used to secure the plastic to the bottom of the wall, which I'll show in a moment. I determined the length of plastic to cut for the end walls by draping it over the top and cutting near the bottom. I left several inches of excess plastic on both the top and bottom. I temporarily attached the plastic to the frame with spring clamps and then secured it more permanently with 3 quarter inch PVC snap clamps. For both end walls I started by clamping the plastic to the ridge pipe. Then, working my way down and pulling the plastic tight as a drum, I clamped it to these purlins and then to the hoop just above the side walls and then to the side walls. I secured the plastic to the bottom of the end walls as shown here. The plastic is on top of the 1x2 I showed earlier, but underneath this 1x2. I pulled the plastic tight as I attached the second 1x2 with roofing nails. This approach secures the plastic by pinching it between the 1x2s and between the lower 1x2 and the raised bed. This is what the east end wall looked like at this stage of the project.
To finish securing the greenhouse film to the end walls, I pulled it tight and pinched it between 1x2s and the end wall trusses. I started at the top and worked my way down. I finished the end walls by securing the plastic to the inside of the corner posts, again while keeping the plastic very tight. This is what the inside of the east end wall looked like at this point. The greenhouse film was applied to the west end wall the same way, but after applying it I needed to cut an opening for the door. First I applied clear duct tape around the door frame to make the plastic more tear resistant. I then installed the hinges and door latch. cut the door opening and hung the door. Plastic was applied to the door earlier simply by wrapping it tightly around the front and then securing it on the back with 1x2s. I also taped the corners of the door for extra strength. I then secured the plastic to the greenhouse by pinching it under door stops that I added to the door jams, header, and threshold. This is what the door looked like after being installed. And here's a look at the west end wall. With the end walls complete, it was time to cover the top of the hoop house. The procedure for covering the top was very similar to that of the end walls. I draped the greenhouse film over the hoops and cut it to size, leaving about a foot of extra plastic on each side. I then spread out the plastic over the hoops, temporarily attached it with spring clamps, and began clamping the plastic with PVC snap clamps. As before, I started at the top and worked my way down each side, keeping the plastic nice and tight at all times. I attached snap clamps on both sides of the ridge pipe, next to the purlins, above the side walls, and on the side walls. With the clamps in place, I then further secured the greenhouse film by pinching it between 1x2s and the truss framing, again pulling the plastic tight at all times. I also secured the plastic with 1x2s on the outside of the corner posts. All that was left then was to fasten the greenhouse film to the bottom of the sidewalls. and cover the excess plastic on the ground with wood chips. And here are a few pictures of the finished hoop house. What a relief it is to have this project complete right before the first snow. The hoop house will provide us with salad greens into the fall and winter. It will also provide a nice little green oasis when the ground is covered in snow. I'd also hope to bring to you the total costs today, as well as some potential design improvements, but time ran short, so I'll have to bring that to you in the next video. Well that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time remember, you can change the world one yard at a time. <laughs>